been so excited for this song to come out. This is Don't Wanna Say Goodnight by Wyatt Flores. It's in standard tuning with a capo on the first fret, and it's a really fun song to play. Let's go ahead and get started. So the chords we're gonna use for the intro and verse are A minor, C, G, and F. So for the intro, we're gonna start the A minor off with a quick down, up, down strum. And then we're gonna do straight down strums from here until we're ready to switch to the next chord. But while you're doing it, I want you to just focus on the A and D strings if you can. If you hit more than that, it's fine. So to go down, up, down, 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 up. And then we're gonna switch to the next chord. You do that final down up strum you're going to switch to C and that's going to start off the next strumming pattern which is just going to continue all the down strums down 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 up and then we're going to switch to the next one so a little bit slower on the A minor to C now we're going to switch to G and do the same thing So I'll play it all the way through, a little bit slower. And then regular speed. So that's how you're going to play the intro. And now we can get to the verse. Like I said before, we're going to use the same chords for the verse, but the strumming pattern is going to change. And you can actually use this strumming pattern for the intro as well if that quick down up down strum is a little too difficult for you. So the verse is going to sound like this. to the chorus. So we're using the same chords but the strumming pattern is a lot easier. All we're going to do for each chord is strum down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you don't really have to think too much about it. Just put a little more emphasis on the down strums and lighter emphasis on the up strums. So A minor. Then we're going to switch to C, same thing. together. Now we're going to repeat this progression one more time, but when we get to that F, we're going to do a couple muted strums just before getting into the chorus. So to go A minor. <laughs> Stop fretting that F chord. I like to move my hand over here and just rest my fingers on top of the strings just so I make sure I'm not hitting any actual notes. And I'm just going to do down, up, down, up to finish it off. Now you can do the same thing over here. That part's not necessary. It's just what I end up doing when I'm playing. So the verse all together one more time. Hit me like a lightning strike Give me that kiss goodbye Watching your summer lights Playing games within my mind Wonder if you're coming back again Didn't know it would feel like this I've been missing peace in my heart Comes back to me when you're in my arms And then we get into the 
into the chorus. Now the chorus is going to be really easy because we're going to use the same strumming pattern we just did in the verse, but switch up the chord order. So now for the chorus we're going to go F, A minor, C, and then G. So again, same strumming pattern. F, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Switch to A minor. Also incorporate the metered strums on the first part of the chorus, but it's not necessary. So it'll sound like this. You wake me up like the sun in the morning, kicking it off like the summer rain pouring. Now I'm chasing those crazy green eyes every time I'm eating clothes. Edge of the earth, but you got me free falling. Running red lights every time that you're calling. Next part up is the bridge, and we're going to use the same chords and strumming pattern as the chorus, but at the end of the bridge, just before getting into the final chorus, we're going to add in a bar chord of the A minor. So it'll sound like this. After that G chord, we're going to go back to A minor, but in the live version I saw, he's playing the bar chord version. So bar the 5th fret of all the strings, then we got 7th fret A, 7th fret D, and we're going to do the same strumming pattern, but we're going to end it on a muted strum. So it'll go down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, and then mute. And all you have to do to mute the strings is either release your fretting hand or put your palm back on top of the strings so you can slap back down on them. It just stops them from ringing out. And then that leads into the final chorus. So for the last chorus, we're still going to start with an F chord, but we're going to pick through it. It's going to sound like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to pluck the root note, or in this case, the first fret of the low E string. Then you're going to pluck D, and then we're going to go B, G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, G. So we're just going back up to that G before we make the switch. It's a little bit slower. We're going to switch to A minor and do the same picking pattern, but this time we're going to start with the root note as an open A string. So A, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, B, G, D, G. So from F to A minor. Now from here, we're just going to strum it through like normal. So the final chorus will sound like this. You wake me up like the sun in the morning, can't get enough like a summer rain pouring. Now I'm chasing those crazy green eyes. just before the very end of the song. Again, same chords, but you're just going to do straight down strums. So we'll start with the F chord, and it'll sound like this. And that's it. 
Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. If you want to check out the tabs, they're available on my website for free. I'll put a link in the description below for you to check that out. I also have a ton of other White Flores tabs on there and a whole playlist of White Flores tutorials here on my channel if you want to check those out. If you have a song you would like to learn, go ahead and leave a request in the comments below. Please put hashtag request. It makes it easier for me to find later when I'm searching those comments. And I want to give a special thanks to Charles Cicerelli for being my first channel member. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. It means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.